Welcome to Bobby's post-match review, proudly brought to you by Dick Smith. Uh, what a win tonight, we did it tough. Um, but I've got with me tonight John the Duke Hastings. Uh, Johnny, I thought you bowled quite well today. You had a few people do, do well with the bat, but no one's really patting you on the back tonight. You got three for 30. Yeah, that happens when you get hit for six a couple of times, Rob. It's, you've got to take that every now and then, mate. But got a couple of wickets, but Hodgie and uh, Huss were unbelievable tonight, I think, and Wadey as well. Yeah, I think they did well, the uh, the boys. You know, Wadey grinded them out. He got frustrated, the little man, but, um, you know, Hodge was all class. And then um, David, Michael, Bevan, Hussey uh, got the job done in the end, didn't he? Um, what were the conditions like out there, Duke? It was pretty tough, actually. It was um, The wicket was a, a little bit too paced. Um, I think it was just lucky that we did have Bevo at the end there to just steer the ship and, and really just drive us home. A calm head. It was a calm head, and you know that's what he's been doing all year for us so far in the three games. So. And it was probably a handy run out uh, of, of their captain, Mike Hussey. He fell three runs short. Um, you know That was probably the crucial time. There was three overs left in the game. Did you think now yeah, you could restrict them to you know, a lot lower than what you thought originally? Yeah, absolutely. It was good, uh, get, a good good getting uh, Mike Hussey out there, Captain. Um, Matty Wade with a pretty good piece of play there, but I thought we could restrict them a little bit better than that, and they got away from us at the end, so um, full credit to our batting side. You know, it's, it's you look down the list and there's some pretty good names there. Mate, uh, I, I've been watching you closely, um, sometimes a little too closely for your liking, but um, I see a lot of similarities to a footballer. Um, you keep getting the job done game after game and probably don't get the re recognition that you probably should. Um, you know, I see that with Jared Ruffhead. Obviously he's played with the, with the Hawks quite a bit and, mm. and Buddy Franklin seemed to always get the pats on the back but um, it seemed like you're, you're playing a bit of a Jared Ruffhead role in our, our team at the moment. Are you happy with that? Yeah, absolutely. Who wouldn't want to play a Jared Ruffhead role? One of the greatest to ever play for Hawthorne, Jared Ruffhead. Yep. Yeah, I've also heard that as well. And now we're off to back to Melbourne but an away game to play the Renegades. Um, it would be absolutely fantastic to get them again this season. Where do you see we're going to get them again? Is it just Finch or is it someone else? Oh, for me, it's just Finch. That's a, I think it's as simple as that. If we get Aaron Finch out, we'll go a long way to winning the game. Yep. Oh, I think it's fantastic we had a win on a wicket like this and got used to conditions like this because I think we're going to get similar uh, next week. So, John, Duke, Hastings, thanks for joining me, mate. You're a bloody legend. Um, that was Bobby's post-match review, proudly brought to you by Dick Smith.